I was in shock when I saw it. I was like, wow, why did this happen? I was hurt. I was disappointed. And then I was outraged. I've had sleepless nights over it because, you know, I've tried to treat everybody with respect in my community, in my department. Well, initially, I just want to know why it happened. You know, who made the change? Latasha Clep See, let's not fall asleep. The heathen has a very long track record of stealing identities, stealing things, and making it as their own. Discovering things like they discovered America or changed the image of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his real name is Yahweh Shai, from a dark-skinned so-called black man to a unmelanated, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Edomite. So they have a long track record of this, which is why it was so easy to steal her identity. It was easier to put a European image in the highlight of the community than to actually put a so-called black person image up as being a hero or doing a good deed in the community or something because we're never supposed to be viewed that way. Leave it to them. But let's keep going and find out who, what our true, true identity is. The fact of the matter, simply put, okay, is that your people have become known as the children of Israel to the earth, okay? Do you know that it was the uh -huh. There's so many, so many, so many of us Jews are dark. If you go to Israel, half of the half of the prosperity are very dark. You said the Sephardim? Okay, okay. But, but but the Ashkenaz. So at least half, so it's because she's so the right to the But the, the Ashkenaz have been purported in the earth to be the people of the book. This is why you receive billions of dollars for United States government and Britain. You know what I'm saying? This is why you were able to come in in 1948 and take over that land because the earth believes that you are the people of the book. But historically, it's shown, we know from scripture and history that you're not the people of the book. Even your top rabbis know that you are gen you're not genetically linked to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob or the 12 tribes. How did they get to, how did they, how did they get to be where they are? How did, in 740 AD, the Khazarian Empire, who you, your people primarily come from, converted exactly. from Judaism. And that's found in your own Jewish encyclopedias with no problems. So what's the, 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 the fact of the matter is the real children of Israel who were a quote-unquote Negroy type of people went into slavery across the globe and lost their identity. And somebody else has come into the place, which is you guys, and taken on their identity. And majority of the time when the Ashkenazi... Khazars are confronted with the truth. They're normally just silent or some may agree um, because they know they're not the true Jews. They know that we're the true Jews, but they want to just see how long we'll remain ignorant and not know who we are or the fact that they stole our identity. But wake up. It's time to wake up, people. It's time to wake up. You the chosen people. You you the chosen people, you so-called Blacks, Mexican, and Native Americans. Y'all are the real, true Israelites, the children of Israel that the Bible speaks of. This is Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. So, I mean, it passed for a while during the duration of us being in darkness not knowing who we are but obviously the most high he's pouring his spirit out unto his children and we're beginning to wake up and remember who we are so their lives are being exposed and the truth is being revealed right before everybody's eyes but it, what was a mind-blowing experience that i found out that i am negro therefore i'm part of the Igbo tribe therefore i am the original <laughs> family of no, original God's people, the Israelites, the Hebrews Jacob. that God set apart from everybody on earth Preach. gave us land, holy land, and is ours. It Preach. belongs to us. And forever they've been yeah. saying, we're Christians, we're not Jews, we're the Gentiles. 
and we're just gonna have to pray our way into heaven. Okay. We're not already. Yes. Um, that's not already our inheritance. We what? have to make it our. No. We have to let them know, go let them know, extra let them know, in order to get into the kingdom of heaven. And the whole time, we that's our land. We the chosen people. They fell into apostasy. We are not Christians. We are, we are Yahudi. Well, like it is Christianity that led us into this slavery till today. Yes. Yes. We are Messianic Yahudi. Yes. Yes. Go to the 613 laws of, of Moshe. That's what that is the Torah. That is our tradition. Check yes. all of them one after the other. Yes. Christianity yes. came we and told us that we are no longer yes. under the law. Yes. And yes. for that reason, we inherited and incurred the curse of Yahweh Elohim in Deuteronomy 28. And we have gone back to that. Yes. This is the regalia I'm putting on. Yes. I mean, I'm an Israelite by birth, yes. from the tribe of God. Yes. And we also have other tribes. Even Zebulon, we have Naphtali. The people they call the Jews are the Ephraims. Yes. They are the, from the descendant of Ephraim. Yes. You have the tribe of Manasseh. Yes. The people that you call Ozoglu are the people of the tribe of Zebulon. Yes. You have Arodi, which is the tri tribe of Arochuku. We are all one, and we can never be divided yes. again under yes. the ban of slavery yes. called yes. Christianity. Yes. Thank you very much. I asked the question, who are the real children of Israel, and I'd like to answer it right away. Go ahead, you minister. Like any good lawyer in a courtroom, he tells you what he's going to prove. All right. And then he goes ahead and proves it and let the jury make the decision. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said that Almighty God Allah revealed to him that the black people of America are the real children of Israel. And they, we, are the choice of God. And that unto us he will deliver his promise. This question says that somebody yes, sir. has usurped our position. That's right. This question says that somebody has taken the promise of God to the children of Israel and claimed it for themselves. So ultimately, our identity was stripped from us due to our disobedience and breaking of the law, statutes, and commandments. The Most High, he put curses on the children of Israel for being disobedient. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So ultimately, that is what happened to the children of Israel. We was cursed for being disobedient and breaking law, statutes, and commandments. So this is Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So that's part of the curse. That's why we've been over here in captivity for 400 almost 500 years not knowing our identity not knowing our lineage our customs where we come from our forefathers our foremothers it was a curse but the most high said in the land of our captivities we shall remember ourselves so the gospel is going out and the word is being spread through the throughout the four corners of the earth as it was prophesied that the children of israel We'll begin to wake up and we will begin to remember who we are because we are approaching the end. This is Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. So they've led us to believe that we are just so-called blacks, African-Americans, Afro-Americans, Negroes have led us to follow their customs, their holidays, their false doctrines, and all the wicked ways of their customs. And it has caused us to err and to sin against our God. So we have to repent and we have to return back to the Most High and begin to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. So this is Revelations 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written herein. For the time is at hand. So we can't just wake up to the fact that now we know we're the children of Israel, we're Yahweh's chosen people, and that's it. No, the Most High is requiring 
something from us and that is to keep the law statutes and commandments to repent of your sins and to keep the law statutes and commandments the end is approaching and we almost up out of here shalom